polar bears, Ursus maritimus. They are an incredible species that have adapted to living in one of the most unforgiving environments on the planet. They are an apex predator and one of the strongest carnivores alive with a bite force of 1,235 PSI. To give you some perspective, the human bite force is 162. The polar bear is a marine mammal because they spend so much time out on the ice hunting for seals. They are the only marine mammals equally agile on land or in the water. Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome to my channel, where we talk about wildlife conservation, organic gardening, and nature education. Polar bears are one of nature's most impressive animals. Adult male polar bears can weigh as much as 1,500 pounds, while females are generally smaller, weighing in at around 600 to 800 pounds. In terms of length, polar bears typically measure between seven and nine feet long from nose to tail, with males being slightly longer than females. Polar bears live in and around the Arctic Circle. Their native territory includes five countries, Canada, Denmark, Norway, Russia, and the United States. These countries have an agreement to work towards the conservation of the polar bear. Polar bears and brown bears are still genetically very similar and even interbreed to produce hybrid offspring known as pisley, such as the zoo animal on the right. In some areas where brown bears and polar bears may occasionally overlap territory, such as on the Alexander Archipelago Islands in southeast Alaska, a study found that between 5 and 10% of brown bears native to those islands had polar bear genes. I do have a polar bear article on the website with references to these studies if you are interested. Specifically adapted to live in the Arctic region, the translucent hairs of the polar bear's fur emit sunlight through, through the fur down to their black skin. The pristine white fur blends perfectly with the snow and ice, making the polar bear nearly invisible to their prey. Polar bear paws are incredibly large, measuring up to 12 inches in diameter. This large size gives them a greater surface area to distribute their weight allowing them to walk on top of soft snow and ice without sinking in. Polar bears have a thick layer of insulating blubber, which can be up to 4 inches or 11 centimeters thick, depending on the bear's health and age. This specialized fat provides an efficient way to store energy and insulates the bears from the harsh and extremely cold conditions they face in their environment. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. These mammals are powerful and can swim for long distances without getting tired. They swim an average of six miles per hour and can cover distances of up to 60 miles without stopping. However, with ice caps melting, polar bears have drowned because they have been unable to reach another ice cap before becoming exhausted. Polar bears are true carnivores and mainly feel, feed on ringed and bearded seals. Unlike other bear species, they do not graze or eat berries except in extreme cases. Adult polar bears are mostly solitary animals. However, they are not territorial. Polar bears tend to come together when prey congregates in an area. This may correspond with breeding season for seals, or like here, when a large whale has washed up on the beach. Scientists have observed 20 bears feeding together. You can see several of these bears have radio collars on. You may think in the Arctic, there is only one season, winter. There is a summer in the cold north. Remember, they also have a very long day, which leads to abundant sunshine. 
During this time, the ice melts, which means the polar bears cannot hunt as efficiently. Males will occasionally fight for mating privileges, and young males will often exhibit some pretty rough and tumble play fighting. I'm not sure which one this is. Churchill, Canada is considered the polar bear capital of the world and a popular ecotourism spot as thousands of polar bears migrate to the region in the fall. Tourists bring in a lot of revenue to this indigenous community. It's one of the few areas where polar bears and people come into contact. Churchill has an advanced warning and deterrent system that protects both humans and bears. Polar bears do not see humans as a food source. In fact, polar bear attacks are extremely rare with only one to three incidents happening each year worldwide. These encounters are typically healthy bears who investigate something they are unfamiliar unfamiliar with or grab their attention, such as campsites. Not sick or starving bears as we might assume. Polar bears are polygynous and mating occurs in April and May. However, the fertilized egg is kept in a temporary hold while the female hunts and gains the necessary 400 pounds before denning. Born between November and February, cubs are born hairless, blind, and deaf and have little coordination. Eyes and ears open at about one month, and at two months, they are growing thick fur and teeth. Cubs stay with mom for two and a half years, but even with this long maternal time, only about 50% survive. After denning all winter, mom needs to get out on the ice and hunt. Baby polar bears have hands-on lessons in swimming and hunting. Polar bear cubs are very playful and form close bonds. They will often stay together for a couple of years after mom runs them off. The primary habitat of polar bears is the Arctic sea ice. Climate change has altered the quantity and the quality of the ice in the Arctic. And as the ice melts and disappears, polar bears lose access to food and have to swim longer distances to find it. The chances of a polar bear swimming for an extended time in open water due to the melting of sea ice is higher, and as such, the risk of drowning is more significant. Pollution in the Arctic is another threat to polar bears. Due to the polar food web, the toxins present in the prey are passed on to the polar bears that eat them. Toxic substances from industrial plants and long-range transport of pollutants from communities in the south accumulate in the fatty tissues of polar bears, leading to reproductive and other health issues. Polar bears are a key species. Without polar bears, the seal population would explode, leading to a rapid decline in the number of fish and other aquatic life. This, in turn, would have a cascading effect on the entire Arctic ecosystem. In addition to the ecological importance of polar bears, they have cultural significance for many indigenous communities in the Arctic. For thousands of years, these communities have depended on polar bears for food, clothing, and other vital resources. The loss of polar bears would be a devastating blow to these communities, many of which are already facing social, economic, and political challenges. Polar bears are a keystone species in the Arctic ecosystem and their health and survival are crucial to maintaining the balance of this delicate ecosystem. Without polar bears, the entire food chain of the Arctic, including fish, birds, and other mammals, would be disrupted, leading to a cascading effect through the region. I hope you have found this video informative and have a better understanding of the polar bear. Check out my other bear videos. Please boop that like button. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wild and sunny day.